Good morning, y'all. It's King Ranch 13. It is 3.30 and some change in the morning. Oh, the things I do for y'all. We are headed to Dallas, or no, actually, some other town called uh, Sherman or something like that, Sherman, Texas, to go and get something. Well, I guess from the title, you can tell what I'm going to do today. Been a long time coming, I guess. Today is finally the day that I get my 2020. And I am pretty excited. It's hard to be excited at 3 in the morning, but I'm excited. Hope y'all are too. Y'all are wide doing this. And because I kind of want a new truck too. If y'all haven't already, please like it and subscribe trying to grow the channel to a thousand subscribers well i guess i told people on instagram on our channel on our page that i would get a 2020 if i got to a thousand but i'm doing it early because i got to 435 or something like that to 435 thank you so much for showing support to me it really means a lot we got some rain here so i'm gonna make sure i drive safe but thanks for coming along with me stay tuned All right, y'all, here it is, the new 2020. Take uh, exit. Be quiet. New 2020, let me show you here. 12 miles on it. First time in my life, guys, this is a milestone for me. Never bought a new truck ever in my life. Realizing how grateful I am is thank you, Lord, for blessing me with opportunities that I'm able to capitalize on and grateful for my family my wife and my family, my community, and the business. I'm just really grateful right now. So I've put about 40 miles on this thing and just wanna show the fuel economy. I've been getting 20, 21, something like that, going 70 to 75 crews. So these new 10 speeds, definitely getting better fuel economy, especially stock. Uh, interior difference, not really much except the pro trailer backup, which I'll probably never use. It's got uh, new receipts that came out in 2018. Uh, that's probably about it. Oh, there's drive mode, there's, there's normal, eco, slippery, uh, tow haul, and one other mode. But I have it in eco right now, so maybe that's what's making the difference sure what it would be like in normal I think probably eco changes up maybe a little bit of fuel time in and there's some shifting maybe something like that
All right, y'all. So stopped by uh, Harris's house and he wanted to check out the new ride. So let him take a look. Got the chance to be able to shoot a quick video. Did a little walk around on the interior and exterior as y'all have seen. Got to run back home real quick and got to go to, oh, I didn't put my seatbelt on. And I've got to go to church tonight at 5.30 for worship practice. So this is the end of this video, but I've got the new truck now. I just want to say thank you so much for all y'all support and following my Instagram page, pages, Outdoor Trucks and King Ranger 13, and also subscribing to our YouTube channel. I really appreciate everything I called my parents this morning and was just telling them how much I appreciated them and how much they mean to me because it's a real big blessing to be able to have something like this at at the age that I'm at. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm 26. So at 26, you know. So comment down below and let me know what videos you want to see of this truck and what y'all think I should do. I haven't made up my mind yet. I've got a couple ideas in mind of what I think I want to do this truck. Every single truck I've had has had 3.5 inch lift from our shop outdoor trucks and uh, 37s or 38 mud grabs so trying to decide if i want to keep the trend going or if i want to change it up tell me what y'all think down below and make sure to hit a like and subscribe all right see you guys bye